Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you a really cool feature, out of the box feature that exists where you can get a reminder, you can create a reminder workflow based on a date column in a SharePoint list or library. Now, uh, some time ago, I actually recorded a similar uh, video on how you can easily request, you know, signatures and automate things and request, you know, sign off on uh, documents using the out of the box built in workflow. Uh, we also have a kind of similar, you know, uh, workflow where you can be reminded a certain you know number of uh, days in advance of an approach and let's say expiration date or something all right so here's a use case i have this document library of policies and i have a number of you know uh, metadata columns uh one of the columns is an expiration date and what i want to do i want to be um notified maybe i don't know 15 days in advance or 30 days in advance of the approach and expiration date so i can take action all right uh, so obviously I can create all these different views and sort by different, you know, dates, but, you know, I want to be a little bit more proactive and I want to receive an email about it. So here's how you do it. Now, uh, this is a personal workflow that you build, right? This is not something that, um, you know, you can, uh, you know, send an email to you yourself and, you know, five other team members. Uh, I'll show you how to, you know, to do that. But, um, uh, you know, the out of the box of workflow is just for yourself pretty much, right? So let me show you how to do that. So uh, again, navigate to that library, create all the metadata, upload all the documents, tag them, then click on automate. And you're going to see that uh, set a reminder uh, workflow, all right? Now, it automatically, automatically picks on all the custom date columns, very important, all right? Uh, you know how I, I have a created date and, you know, modified date. It's not going to send your workflow based on those dates, all right, on the system dates. Uh, it's just the, uh, it's picking up on all the custom columns uh, that are date fields. So if I were to create maybe, I don't know, review date or some other date uh, column, it would appear here as well, all right? Uh, but in my case, in my case, I already have one column, so I'm picking on that. It automatically does that, all right, in terms of, right, it uh, understands which date columns you have in your library. Uh, now, here, it's just making sure that you are properly licensed because in order to build the workflow, you need to have proper SharePoint license and Exchange, you know, Outlook license, right, because it's going to send you an email, you know, so it's just making sure that uh, you have a, a valid license uh, and proper, you know, roles and everything, permissions, so we are okay here. Click uh, Continue. And this is where you give it a name, um, um, a reminder about soon to be expired policies, all right? You can make it whatever you want. And then this is where you set, I want to be notified 30 days in advance. That's all. That's uh, really all you need to fill out here and click create. Now, what's happening behind the scenes uh, I mean, essentially we're done. Uh, now uh, every day it will do the math and, you know, and uh, send it, you know, the, the notification to me 30 days prior to the expiration date. Uh, now, uh, what's what happened behind the scenes, uh, an actual Power Automate workflow got created uh, in Power Automate. And um, obviously if, if you don't care about the, you know, the, uh, I guess the, the particular email message you're going to receive, we're done. But let's say I want to maybe include others on the email. I want to tweak those 30 days and make it something else. So I want to tweak the body of the email that's going to be sent. In this case, um, you kind of have to know what you're doing, but in this case, you can navigate to Power Automate. And um, under uh, my workflows, all right, this is, I have, this are all the different workflows I created, Power Automate workflows. This is the one I just, we just created. Look at this, here's the name. And if you click on the pencil icon, this is where you can tweak the logic, all right? You kind of have to know what you're doing, but essentially what you're going to see are all the, you know, different steps. Um, essentially, right, all this workflow was built in automatically for me. Um, you know, um, I didn't really have to do a thing, but let's say I want to tweak the number of days, you know, here it is, right? If I uh, wanted to tweak maybe uh, the, uh, you know, specific, uh, 
uh, e e you know, email messages, right? Uh, or, you know, uh, essentially the body of the email, uh, I can do that here, all right? Or maybe I want to include others on the email. So again, you kind of have to know what you're doing, or maybe I want uh, some extra steps to be included. Maybe the document also has to be copied to another, um, you know, to another library or something, right? You can add that action, but you can obviously tweak that out of the box workflow. But if you're just looking for a basic, you, you know, reminder workflow, uh, and everyone can do it, all right? As soon as uh, as soon as you have access uh, to the library, and um, you know you have proper license, uh, any user uh, can build this workflow quite easily. And what I love about it is that, right? You don't really have to know Power Automate uh, or be the developer, all right? So everything is out of the box here. All right, so that's all I wanted to um, you know show it to you in this particular video. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMavit.com, uh, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.